take a look at Coram Blocks. So let me quickly talk you through each individual item that comes in the range, and then I'll show you all the details. First up, and probably gonna be the most popular one, the fully loaded tackle blocks. This comes with a load of tools, scissors, a rig winder and a compartment box, a complete system for the thinking angler. We also sell the tackle box unloaded for guys who might already have some of the core and titanium tools and some scissors they want to use themselves and they might want to use it with more compartments in it rather than putting the rig box and the compartment box inside and that's available at an unbelievable price that is so much tackle box for the money and of course all these other smaller accessory parts are all compatible so we've got a little four slot bits blocks You've got a longer compartment, which can take things like the tubes from your meat stops, your anti-tangle sleeves, your baiting tools as well. You put all your little knickknacks and uh, terminal tackle in there. And then we've got two versions of the rig blocks. This is a really clever rig winder. Let me show you how it works, because it really is clever. You've got a standard version, which you can keep inside the tackle box, and they've got a deluxe version, which comes with its own built-in cover. So here we have the fully loaded tackle blocks. You'll notice it's a new size. We've moved away from the original ITM size tackle box, and that's for good reason. It's for what you actually want to fit inside when you're normally fishing. So something that you couldn't really do with the original tackle box was put items of terminal tackle straight inside in the packets. This new size that we've used inside of there, that is basically the same size as just about every item of terminal tackle we sell and everybody else sells. So I haven't got to cut down the packets or anything now, I can just put them straight inside. You can obviously move the dividers around to allow you more space inside. And as you can see, this whole top tray is a little work area. As you can see, it doesn't tip over or anything like that. It stays perfectly level. And inside of there, we've got a full selection of tools, a full selection of compartment boxes, and we've also got this really cool little feature here for your scissors. Now the scissors are completely stuck in there. They're not going anywhere. But if I just pop them off this little thing here, that then slides out, take out my scissors, pop it back in again, click them back into place. That ain't going anywhere. Really, really cool. And obviously with the fully loaded blocks, you're getting really great value as well. You're getting one of the rig winders. So this rig blocks, that fits inside of there, no problem. Or keep a few rigs with you. And of course, you've got one of those four compartment boxes you can keep inside as well. Keep all your little knickknacks inside of there. It's got a little magnetic top, click that shut. And the whole thing is waterproof as well. So when I close that, you'll see inside of here, we've got a rubber gasket that runs along the, the whole of the inside of the tackle box. And it clips together very positively indeed. It's rock hard, it's sturdy, it suits my fishing down to the ground. I absolutely love it. So of course, not everybody wants to keep everything inside the packets. Although we have sized the tackle box, so our Corum terminal tackle and everybody else's terminal tackle can go straight in. You might want to keep things separately and organized in a four compartment blocks. As you can see, it's not just an ordinary um, accessory box. We've got magnetic attachments to keep it closed. It's a beautiful little khaki finish. You've got three smaller compartments that are actually quite deep, will take um, quite big items of terminal tackle. And then you've got an area here, which as I said before, is big enough for something like your tools, your anti-tangle sleeves, and any other bits and pieces you want to keep inside your tackle box. Neat and tidy. You can take it out as well, pop it in my waders if I'm off for a little stroll somewhere, or I'm off trotting or something. Brilliant little bit of kit. Next up, we've got the rig blocks, and I love this rig winder system. It solves so many issues because unlike lots of other rig boards on the world, you do not need any pins. Let me show you how it works. Across here, you've got a special little nipple that sticks out. We'll call it that because I don't know what else to call it. It's got a slot in the middle. Now that slot means if you're using a swivel, you can butt the swivel up against it and then just wind it around and then you hook your hook into this part here, which is not foam, it's actually silicon. So it will last for ages. It's really nice and tactile, keeps all your rigs nice and safe. And of course, that little nipple, perfect for little loops as well. You can just keep winding your rigs around, hook it in. If you wanna keep going rig for rig for rig and putting the loops through the hook, you can do that as well. The other nice thing about this particular model is this top part comes away. 
so I can keep things inside of there, like my anti-tangle sleeves. When I'm tying rigs for almost all of the core and fishing that I do, especially on the river for my carp fishing as well, I'm always using an anti-tangle sleeve, and that is the perfect place to keep them. Well, if you're anything like me and you like to be prepared and have lots of different rigs tied up for different situations at different venues, the Deluxe Rig Blocks is the item of kit for you. It's just like the other rig blocks, but as you can see, it comes in its own sealed unit. Like all the other block stuff, it will go straight in the tackle box, but it comes apart like that. This little bit just keeps all your rigs safe. I can stick that in a side pocket or something on my bag, and it's ready to go.